Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Uncle P. So recently, a lot of people have been asking very naive and very stupid questions on my uh, on my videos. Now, as much as I like to educate people, there are some questions that is just really naive. Like I don't even know where to start. So. I've decided to make this video with a compilation of even intelligent people asking stupid questions, hoping that I can answer these questions and we can move on from them. And everybody has an understanding on how politics and economics and everything else works. Okay? So let's start with this video I'm first. Xenophobia. Just remind South Africans that nobody has walked from Nigeria to South Africa. Hukagala. Nobody walked. They flew into our tambo. Somebody at home affairs colluded with them to be here. They went through the border gate. Somebody at the border gate, only border gate, they were notorious. Uh, base bridge. Bribery, bribery. So, guys, this is a news reporter that is basically saying that he's basically putting all the fault and all the blame on home affairs officials, uh, on everyone except the individual who are doing the crime. And this is one of the things that people keep doing. They keep throwing blame to South Africans. So let me educate everyone on how this actually is done. Yes, nobody walked from Nigeria. Ne? They came through all our tumble. Well, let's see how this is actually done. The easiest way to travel abroad with no degree, no certificate, and no qualification, even if you have this things mentioned it applies to you as well ask someone or anybody abroad to send you an invitation my people this is a sure way you can use to travel if you are not qualified for anything an invitation for a birthday an invitation for family reunion an invitation for a baptism once you get your invitation you shall prepare your documents depending on the country depending on the visa procedures you shall prepare their documents and you go and apply for visa they will give you a visitor visa. Then once you get to the country, you can decide what you want to do. I'm talking about traveling abroad. I'm not talking about when you move there, what happens next. That is another story. My people, many people have been asking me how they can move abroad, that they are not qualified. This is how you move. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, guys? Literally, he's advising people how to move into somebody so a lot of people are so naive they don't understand that these people don't come into the country illegally they come into the country legally like that brother just explained all they did is use an invitation for anything south africa has the same process you can invite your brother for any reason and then you heard what he says once you enter the country that's another story how you plan on staying there how do they usually plan on staying there? Let's watch this next video. I left the UK because of my mental health. Liar. You are a very big liar. You see all these Nigerians that they will relocate back to Nigeria and start shouting. And I left the UK because I was always sick. I was depressed. I was having anxiety. This was going on. That was my friend is a lie. They did not leave UK because of depression, anxiety or anything. They are lying. Let me tell you the reason most of them left UK. They came in as a student. After their student visa expired, they were not able to renew the visa. That one is one. They were not able to get another visa, maybe a work visa to extend their stay in the UK. So they will go back to Nigeria. The another set of people are those people who came to the UK as students. They failed. They failed. They could not pass. Most of the time, they will send you back to Nigeria to go and rewrite the course there. But I'm very, very... There you go guys i don't know how many times i've said this in all my other videos how many times i've actually explained that these people don't come into the country legally they come into the country legal it's the, the thing is when they were supposed to return they don't return they remain in the country and they try to use fraudulent means to try and remain in the country now as this lady explained in the uk they are deporting them and a lot of them can't come back because as she said, they too dumb. They can't even pass. South Africa has also strict rules, but the problem is the corruption is becoming so much that people are getting away with this. You know, you're not seeing mass deportations. 
But ever since we started talking on social media and we stop it, we're not remaining silent. The more you people are watching these videos, sharing these videos, guys, there's actually a difference happening. Now I want to show you guys the positive that all this video has been having in South Africa and that people are listening to us now. They are hearing us and change is coming. This is not the GNU or anything else. This is political hunger, guys. I'm not saying that you should be trusting political parties. No, 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 no. But what I'm trying to say is the change is happening. It's in a small scale, but it's happening. But we can't stop talking. We can't stop working. We can't remain silent. That's one thing that we can't do. What am I talking about? Watch Mr. this Mr. Speaker, I said enough is enough, and I mean it. And that means I am prepared to do what must be done. So early next year, we will introduce new legislation to make unambiguously clear that if you enter the UK illegally, you should not be able to remain here. Yeah. Instead, instead, you will be detained and swiftly returned either to your home country or to a safe country where your asylum claim will be considered. And you will no longer be able to frustrate removal attempts with late or spurious claims or appeals. And once removed, you should have no right to re-entry, settlement or citizenship. Guys, everybody's tired of immigrants. Everyone is tired of immigrants. Illegal immigrants, people, guys, they don't start illegal. They start legal, like I keep saying throughout the video. Everybody's tired. Is South Africa tired? Let's salute fellow patriots. We are in a company, a factory, somewhere in Lanlakte, Johannesburg, as we speak now. As you can see, this is the material they are producing. In their language, they call it fiber. Uh, it assists in making uh, blankets and stuff. This is their factory here. A lot of illegal immigrants are found here. Our brothers and sisters are exploited, cheap labor, unfair working conditions, dangerous conditions. Fire extinguishers are no longer safest, they no longer work. I don't know what will happen here if this place catches fire. All the big bosses are what they're interested in is profit, maximizing profit at the expense of our fellow brothers and sisters. Our fight is not a fight I, that is promoting hate amongst Africans. Our fight is to help Africans, anyone who might be taken advantage of by these big bosses who are exploiting people in the name of maximizing profit. Look at this. This is their kitchen. This is their kitchen. These are their beds. They sleep on pilots as long as they sleep and then work more, produce a lot of material for the company so that the big bosses can then maximize and profit. This is where they sleep. Just look at it. This is where they sleep. We are here today. We are here today to expose uh, the conditions in which the illegal immigrants are exposed to because somebody has to take advantage of their status in the country, of the fact that the labor uh, laws don't necessarily protect them um, and we know that at the end the focus of every business is to make profit it doesn't matter at the expense of who or how this is their toilet doesn't flush they use buckets they must go and uh, find alternative toilets somewhere if they want to do real business south africa is no longer silent if every business starts facing this kind of attacks, the illegal immigrants will run away. South Africans can't work under such conditions. This is what I was talking about when I was talking about Julius Malema. Imagine expecting a South African to work under such conditions in their own country. A developed country such as this. There's more. Salute Patriots, as we promised yesterday. This is our third uh, company of the day. We've uh, visited three companies. All three of them have employed illegal foreigners. 
they are here without uh, passports, most of them, others don't have work permits. It's a mixed masala, it's a concoction of nonsense. So we made sure that we bring uh, the guys that we work with, Department of Labor, SARS, SAPS, to ensure that the operation is successful. And then the employers also uh, were detained. We don't say things that we really don't mean. Once we promise that we will do something at the Patriotic Alliance, we do it, we won't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, where, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Ubiad. As cool men, as cool men, as cool men. Ona lete la kara. Hey, hey, ma'am, I'm same seven zin, same seven zin. I'm not going to see any. It's same seven zin as that. Mama, we are. Why you come from Malawi? You don't have papers, all obvious. Why not? Malawi. Mama, if we have been there, the car is good. Hey, we are not from South Africa, ne? Mm. Okay. And you? Where now? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, guys. You saw, with what's happening in the restaurants and now this, it's a small scale, but it's something. I honestly think if we go silent, this is going to stop. The problem that we have in South Africa is people follow trends. And eventually talking about this and talking about Nigerians is going to become boring. People are going to be like, nah, you keep dragging this content, you keep dragging this content. This is not content. This is reality. This is reality. And South Africa can't remain silent. South Africa can't sit there and just accept that this country is falling apart. Gotta fight for this country, man. There is nothing left in, in our countries. You don't want to end up like the, the rest of Africa. That's one thing you do not want. Why are you not going back home? The suffering that we were facing here, that side, it's going to be probably a hundred times worse. For me, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. They